Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a February favorites for you guys. And I have quite a bit of favorites. Um, I try to get everything from every category. So if you'd like to see what my favorite products were for the month of February, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the face. And I'm going to start with some foundations. I actually have two of them. Um, I would say the first one is the new, well new to me, the Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation. I'm in the shade 22 Beige Rose. Um, this is kind of like on the paler side. I would suggest getting a darker shade if you're like fake tanning with like a Saint Tropez or something like that. Um, this does have a, a luminous finish, so it's going to make you look like you're glowing from within. And the pump is like this, so I like that it has a pump. It's very creamy, and it just goes on the skin like really like, like velvety, so I love that. And it lasts a long time. The trouble that I have is finding a foundation that will not crease in my laugh lines and my dimple. Uh, my, the best test that I do is like an 8-hour workday. By the end of my 8-hour workday, if it hasn't creased, then I'm in love with it. It does crease, I've noticed, like longer than 8 hours which kind of bothers me, but I mean, how much can you expect from a foundation? Um, but it doesn't make me look as shiny as some other foundations, which I love um, because I do have oily skin, so it keeps away the shininess. Um, it doesn't do it as well without a primer, so if you put on a matte primer before the foundation, then that definitely helps better than if it was just the foundation by itself. The only thing I would say is that it does have SPF 15 in it, so if you're going to be taking pictures, I would not wear this foundation because the white from the uh, SPF is going to reflect any light from the flash of a camera, so I would suggest not wearing this if you're going to take pictures. I actually do have it on my face right now. It just it gives like a flawless, um, softened look, which I love because I have like bigger pores, so it, it minimizes my pores. My next favorite foundation is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, you've probably seen me use this in probably almost all of my tutorials so far. Um, this is the shade N125 Sand. Um, same thing with this. I notice that it doesn't crease. Um, it creases less than the Chanel, I think. Um, but they both last like a long um, eight hour day. This, I would say, makes me look less shiny than the Chanel. It's really close. I don't know. Um, but it does last a long time. It does give you like a flawless finish. I would say that the Chanel definitely has like a softer finish once it sets, once you put it on. It's really hard for me to say which one is my favorite between the two. It really just depends what type of mood I'm in that day. But um, they're similar in shade. This one's a little bit darker. Um, so with this one, I do have to go over top of a bronzer sometimes. But yeah, I love these two foundations, and these two are definitely my go-to foundations if I'm not like experimenting. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it's between these two foundations. Next is a primer. It's the Smashbox Photo Correcting or Photo Finish uh, Color Correcting Primer. Um, I have the green one because the color green cancels out any color of red. So if you have any hyperpigmentation or any like red blemishes that you've picked or something, or if you have like a really irritated uh, blemish, this will help cancel out the color quite well. Um, I've noticed that if you see like it's kind of like a puke green. <laughs> um, when I put this on, this is the first thing that I put on before anything else. Like I'll moisturize and then I'll put this on. It's not going to like cover up your pimples like a concealer, but it definitely cancels out that reddish color so that when you put on your foundation and your concealer, it's a lot less noticeable. My next favorite is the Hula Bronzer. I know that this has been out for a while, but I hadn't had it for a while and it looks like this. It's a very um, light, cool toned bronzer, which I like because I'm more on the pale side right now. So it looks nice when blended. I actually have it on right now for my contour. Um, I just love the way that this blends. I used to use Bobbi Brown bronzer, but that just is kind of hard to blend. I found it's a nice bronzer, but Bobbi Brown bronzer is not exactly ideal if you haven't really contoured before and you're just starting out because it is really hard to blend. So I would suggest this bronzer. Um, I use the NARS Eater Brush with this. I just love that it's a matte finish and it doesn't have like a shine to it like some bronzers do, like with like any type of glitter or something like that. This has none of that, which I like. Next is kind of like an oldie but a goodie for me. This is a MAC Skin Finish in the shade Light Scapade. This is like a beautiful highlight for your cheekbones. I used to use this all the time. And then I started switching over to this, which is actually one of my favorites for this month. But this is definitely an oldie but a goodie. I used to use this 
every day, all day. This is my next favorite. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, this is three highlight shades. I tend to go for this gold one more often, it seems like, but I tend to reach for this more than any other highlighter besides this Max Skin Finish right now for this month. Um, there's just three shades to work with here, and they're beautiful shades that go on any skin tone, so you really can't go wrong with it. Next is a Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Blush. This one's a little bit smaller than the full size because I bought like a Christmas holiday pack that had four of them in it. Um, but this one is my favorite from that pack. This is called Daydream. And it's like a, like a mauve pink, which is like really nice. Um, it's, not, it's not bad on like paler skin, but it looks beautiful on like darker skin. Like if you've faked tanned and you put this on, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, this is my favorite blush because it really does stay on for 12 hours. It, it is um, advertised as a 12 hour blush and it really does stay on that whole time. I can't tell you how many blushes I've been through where at the end of the day it looks like I have no blush on. Okay, so now on to the eyes. Um, I would have to say I want to start with this because I've just gotten into like better fake lashes lately. Um, this is the Lena Lash in style Naomi. I actually have them on right now. I have gotten a few of the Lena Lashes. I got like Bianca, Bardot, um, Olivia, but this one is my favorite out of all the ones I got. It's just so long and wispy and I feel like it complements my eyes perfectly. Um, they're really feminine and they're not like overdone to where they're really thick. Like some lashes you would wear to a club or something like that. This is like good for daytime and work and stuff like that. If you do wear fake lashes, if you do wear fake lashes during the day, this is like a perfect lash for that because it's not too overbearing. Um, next is a mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I really like this because of the, the brush. Like I love brushes that are shaped like that where it's like thicker back here and then it thins out here because it's easier to get your bottom lashes with the thinner part of the brush on the front here. And it really has lengthened my lashes, which I love, and it thickens at the same time. So I've been falling in love with this this month. Before this, I actually used Better Than Sex, which is still a great mascara. I love that one too, but I've just been reaching for this one a lot this month. Next um, is a Rimmel. I think it's Rimmel. Is it Rimmel? Yes, it's Rimmel. Rimmel Scandalize, the new eyeshadow sticks. Oh my god, I got like six of these recently from Walmart. Just look at that. Like, it goes on so pigmented and creamy. And I like this because it's like a neutral brown, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it. It's almost like a coppery brown. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I love putting this on my lid. Love it. Next is the Ardency In Black Eyeliner, the Modster one. This and Sephora eyeliner are probably the two that I reach for the most, but this one I've been reaching like every day this month. It's just so creamy, and all the other ones I have, it seems like they're too sheer where you have to go over it multiple times. This is just like you go once, like twice, like you just go once this way, once this way, and it's on there. It's on there all day. I even find it kind of hard to wash my face at night to get it all off. I kind of have to go in the makeup wipe afterwards, like after using soap and water, because that's how long it stays on and how waterproof it is. Next I have a few of these Lit Cosmetics glitters. I had ordered a bunch and I've tried them all out and I love them all. Um, this is Cher. This is like a really silvery one with flecks of like blue in it and like holographic looking things. This is Mr. T. This is like a, like a beautiful gold. This is like your generic gold, but this one has like little flecks of silver in it, but barely any, but it just complements the gold so well. This one I think is my favorite out of the whole pack that I got from Lit. It's Heartbreaker. I actually did use this in a recent tutorial. I think it was my chocolate palette tutorial. It's like this beautiful wine, like burgundy sparkle. Oh my god, I can't. I just can't. This goes so well with any neutral look that you do, like any browns, like any brown smoky eye. It just looks so good if you want to add like a little extra pop to it. This next one, I think you can get this one actually at Sephora. It's called Afternoon Delight. It's just like a really pretty periwinkle. I love it. I know I'm like all about glitters right now. I don't know why, but <laughs> this next one is the Stila Magnificent Metals in Kitten. I don't, what I've been doing with this is I've been putting my finger in it, just like the ball of my finger, and just popping a little bit in the center of my lids like after I'm done each eye look. And it gives it like a nice little pop, like a little bit of dimension at the end of each look. I've been finding myself doing that a lot this month where I've just been putting that as like a finishing touch. I've just been popping a little bit of that in the center of my eyelid. Okay, and my last category I have here for my February favorites is lips. 
So this first thing I have here is a Bite Beauty product. This is um, in the shade Honey. It's like a really neutral brown color. It kind of reminds me almost of MAC Blankety, but it's a little bit more pinkish brown. It's like more pigmented, I feel like. It's not as sheer. I'm sorry, this is Honey Berry, yeah. And this is like a high pigment pencil. They have a lot of shades, and I do have quite a few, but I think this one is my favorite. The last two things I have are Too Faced Melted uh, Liquid Lipsticks. Um, these two are my favorite shades so far. This one's called Fig, and this one's called Melted Nude. Um, this one is definitely an everyday look. This one I also think is an everyday look. It's like a really pretty um, mauve -y, like burgundy, like boysenberry. I know I just named like three different things, but it's like so pretty. Let me see if I can swatch it for you. I just love, love lip colors like that. I find it hard even in the summertime for me not to wear dark colors like this just because I gravitate more towards darker colors. But I just love the applicator and it goes on so soft and creamy and these things stay on all day. They are not going to move. I love that these things stay on all day just like a matte lipstick. Some of them dry um, like creamy and some of them dry matte. So if you want to put a little bit of a lip gloss on top it's like perfect since you can adjust it to how you want. Um, but they seriously last all day. Even I found like when I eat it's still there so it's amazing. Here's the Melted Nude which is just like such a pretty nude color. I love it. So that's all the products I have for you today for my February favorites. These are just the products that I found myself reaching for pretty much every day or every other day this month. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions just go ahead and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, bye! Um, a mineralized, mineralize, mineralize. I think that it's perfect for that. I just dropped it now. I hate my life.